dear learners welcome back to this course on a guide to online courses through swayam for students and faculty of higher education in the second video lecture i will familiarize you with the swayam community as defined by the credit framework for online courses through swayam regulation 2016 and amended in 2021 The Swayam community includes the course coordinator, host institution to which the course coordinator belongs, the national coordinator, the subject matter expert groups that is the SMEGS, the academic advisory council AAC, the academic advisory council and the subject matter expert groups work in tandem with the national coordinator and form what is known as the swayam academic board to oversee the quality and delivery of these online courses by the course coordinator on the swayam platform then it also includes the learner and the parent institution the highest body of the swayam community is the swayam board that oversees the swayam programs and also oversees the conduct of the n examination now what is the benefit of taking up these online courses through swayam for students there is a credit transfer of up to 40% whereas for the teachers teachers who take up these online courses can utilize the certificate for their promotions now let us see the role of each and every swayam community again as defined by the credit framework for online courses through swayam regulation 2016 and amended in 2021 so let us start with the national coordinator now who is the national coordinator the national coordinator is the agent between the subject matter expert or the course coordinator and the learner so it is a national agency or institution of high repute from the country its role is to coordinate the production of the online courses on the swayam platform next we have the course coordinator who is a subject matter expert and a faculty of any higher education institution now the role of the faculty is to deliver these online courses and apart from delivering these online courses on the swayam platform the subject matter expert that is the course coordinator will also have to assess the learners performance in their online course this assessment will be divided into two parts one is the internal assessment and the other one is the n examination so the internal assessment can be up to 30% of the performance of the student while the n examination accordingly will be 70 if in this case it is 30% and if the course coordinator wishes to give only 25% in the internal examination then for the n examination the total score is 75% now this n examination is a proctored examination that is an examination that is being supervised and it is performed at the end or the completion of the entire course while the internal assessment is done within each week that the course is being conducted or within the duration of the online course now the end examination it is conducted in a center that is being outsourced by the swayam board and this center should be located in every nook and corner of the country so that a learner from any part of the country who takes up this course through the host institution of the course coordinator can be given a chance to complete this n 
examination or the proctored examination. In most cases, the N examination is a computer based test, while some of the course coordinator would prefer their learners to have the pen and paper examination. So if it is a pen and paper examination, the host institution along with the course coordinator will have to identify the institutions close to the learner where they can go and complete the pen and paper examination. Now on completion of the examination, the host institution along with the course coordinator will prepare a score sheet after evaluation and finally can award grades to the learner. On awarding the grades, if the learner attain a minimum score for passing the examination, for example, a course coordinator can uh, come up with a pass score of probably 40 percent, then an e-certification will be awarded to the learners. Now what is a parent institution? A parent institution is an institution where the learner is enrolled, that is a learner is undergoing the conventional education. So it is the duty of the parent institution to ensure that credit acquired by the learner through the SWIME platform will be transferred to the learner's mark sheet along with the credits obtained for the conventional mode of education. So it is the duty and responsibility of the parent institution to decide on the online courses that are being notified every semester by the SWIM board. So these courses are being notified twice a year that is for the winter semester which is somewhere around November and for the uh, summer semester that is around June. Apart from this the parent institution will also have to uh, nominate the department's SWIM mentors. Their role is very important because they have to mentor the students that is from their institution right from the registration of these online courses on SWIM to the completion of the credit course. To further enhance the learning of their students through these online courses, the parent institution will have to ensure that there is physical infrastructure such as the computer facilities, library, etc. to be provided to the learners in completion of these credit courses through the SWIM platform. So there are nine national coordinators and learners as well as the department SWIM mentors have to be acquainted with these national coordinators. So here we have the U University Grants Commission, the National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning that is the NPTEL and the Consortium for Educational Communication that is the CEC. Now each of these national coordinators coordinate a certain course that is being offered on the SWIM platform. The University Grants Commission coordinates the non-technology postgraduate degree program, the NPTEL coordinates the technology or engineering undergraduate and postgraduate degree program and the consortium for educational communication coordinates the non-technology undergraduate degree program. Then we have the All India Council for Technical Education that coordinates self-paced and international courses. The Indian Institute of Management Bangalore that coordinates management program and the National Institute of Technical Teacher Training and Research that coordinates teacher training program. So these are the national coordinators that teachers and students of higher education needs to look up to. Apart from this, we also have the 
Indira Gandhi National Open University that takes care of the diploma and certificate programs, the National Institute of Open Schooling and the National Council of Educational Research and Training that takes care of school education from class 9 to 12. So with this, we have come to the end of the second video lecture where you have been familiarized with the Swayam community. Thank you.